guess what I got? I got a column tank. Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. What do we have here? We have a column tank. This is a 15 gallon Aquion column tank and it's something a little bit new. We often stick with the rectangular sizes yeah. and shapes and you wanted this thing. Well, I was at, I was at a, a pet store and just getting some dog food or something and this bad boy caught my eye and I looked at it a number of times but it is a 15 gallon so I said that's kind of a fun size it's kind of smallish nanoish and a very different size I've never I've never escaped or had a column tank you had a hex tank when I first met you I did yeah. so here's what we're going to do in this video I want to quickly unbox this tank talk about what you get with the tank in case you're interested maybe you've gone to the pet store and you see it there so let's go ahead let's take a look at some of what comes with the tank Joanna's going to go ahead, aquascape the thing, we'll cut back, we'll show you what she does with it, and then I want to talk about, we will talk about some of the uh, things to think about after you get everything set up when it comes to a tank like this, a 15 gallon column. So what comes with it? Well, we get a whole bunch of paperwork, uh, directions on how to set it up, and that's why you're here, so we won't really worry about the directions too much. What else do you get? Well, at least in this kit, we got not one, but two stick on thermometers so we'll only need one because it's not that large of a tank it might have just been a mistake but we're going to get go ahead and we'll have that we also got an aquion quiet flow filter that is adequate for a 15 gallon column tank right now it's all wrapped up and i will show you how we set this thing up and how to deal with that we'll see how quiet it is and we will see how quiet it is we get a net that's wrapped awesome <laughs> What's in this box? This box, ooh, okay. We have a heater. Now this heater, as I'm looking at it, is a non-adjustable Aquion heater. It's on the smaller side. It's a 50 watt, so that's gonna be adequate. So roughly three watts per gallon. So I'm not too worried about that. The one downside, of course, to something like this is I definitely prefer adjustable heaters, but we'll make this work. That's something that comes with the tank and then we have another box and in that box we have the power cord for the light and the light is actually integrated into the hood which can be an advantage if you like that nice seamless look as we're going to see when we actually aquascape the tank and then of course they give you a little bit of food sampling and some water conditioner so that's what comes with the tank of course you get the tank itself again it's a 15 gallon column tank if you're wondering about the size the size is roughly approximately according to the little sticker right here 13 and 3 quarters long it's about the same wide and then the height is really the interesting thing it's 25 inches high mm -hmm. that's a tall tank and you're going to have is. some challenges when it comes to aquascaping yeah first off I'm probably going to need a step stool, even for this little little guy, in order to you know get your arm all the way down. Get there. my arm all the way down there and not drop any rocks. I probably will get a step stool. How exciting! So what we're going to do? What you're going to do? You're going to set this tank up. We're going to come back to it. I'll show you how to set up all the different parts and pieces as we're going through the process, and then we will give you some final thoughts. And like I said, in case you're interested in setting up one of these wonderful tanks in your home. All right, everyone, so while Joanna is doing the tank, it's gonna look awesome. I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about the filter here. And there's a couple issues that I see, and one is the fact that our intake is very, very short for a tank that is going to be 25 inches tall. This is the only intake that you get this is barely long enough for like a standard 15 or 20 gallon tank, much less one that is a column tank. That's gonna be a downside to this kit. However, the Aquion Quiet Flow filters, I have done reviews on them before. I'll put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. It was the older version of the Aquion Quiet Flows, but I do like these filters. They are quiet because the pump is internal. It sits in the water. You get very, very little noise. So that's gonna be one issue. The other thing is that it comes with this insert. This thing just goes on nice and easy, just like that. This quiets the water down. It also creates a lot of surface area in here for the microbes to grow. That comes with a carbon filter floss uh, insert. I generally don't use these. I like to cut out my own filter floss. I will put that video in the description as well as in the upper right hand corner. 
uh, save a lot of money. We definitely don't need to be buying inserts for any filter you ever buy. Filter Floss for us does a great job of mechanical filtration. So I just, I'm probably just gonna go ahead, fold this in half, put this in here just like this, and it's gonna work out really well. The last thing I wanna point out with this filter before we put it on the tank, and that is, you see that little red dot? Uh, that little, little red light is battery operated. It, it comes with like two almost like watch size batteries. The idea is you put this in here, and then once you put the cover back on, this light will illuminate when there is a blockage in the filter that's reducing the overall flow. A lot of people find this thing very stressful because it's very sensitive. My recommendation to you is you can put this thing on here, pull the batteries out. You can use your eyes to determine whether or not you need to be changing your filter floss. So if this stresses you out at all, don't let it stress you out. There are more important things in life to be stressed out about. This light is not one of them. Leave the batteries out and you won't have to worry about it anymore. I put the batteries in, I'll get stressed out by it for a couple of weeks and then I'll probably pull them out and then perfectly good filter. Intake's a little short. We'll show you the tank in a couple minutes. All right, everyone, one of the thing I wanted to mention, that is the inside of the lid. You can see here that we're getting 15 LEDs broken up into five different locations. It's gonna remain to be seen how well this is going to do with plants. We are going to plant this tank. We'll do some low light plants like Anubias, and I think those will be just fine for this tank. Again, keep in mind, we've got a 25 inch deep tank. So we're gonna have to see if these lights are gonna be sufficient. Show you that in a couple minutes. All right, everyone, so here it is. This is the Aquion 15 gallon column tank kit all set up in Aquascape. We're gonna talk about some of the advantages that we see so far, potentially some of the disadvantages. I want Joanna to talk a little bit about Aquascaping in general. Now I know we use live plants here. Of course you can use whatever you want, but we're gonna address those issues and we'll talk a little bit about the equipment and some things to think about. So the aquascaping, what's your thoughts on the tank? Well, I was very excited to scape this. I've never scaped the column tank, but it was a lot more challenging than I had expected. The, the scape had to really be to allow space around the scape to, in order to clean the, the sand and all that. I could really only use like nine by nine space going all the way up. So, and then you also have to make sure that you have some height achieved in the scaping that you're using. I did have, luckily, some ghost wood that stayed within that kind of perimeter. And then I used very few rocks, maybe about five. And I really couldn't do much more than that. The rock I like, really the scape, the whole scape I like, it's a very brown neutral tone. All of it's just a single tone with the with the plants that we use too. The only thing I don't have is the name of the rock. This is not Dragonstone, and I was happy to use this. I only had a few pieces. I was happy to use it in this scape, but please leave a comment down below if you know what kind of rock this is. So let's talk a little bit about the stocking. We put in a couple honey grammies, and as far as grammies go, these are relatively non-aggressive types of grammies. We have a bed of fish in here. I suspect they're gonna get along just fine. If they don't, we have some tank space to move them around. You can see here the bed is looking good. Uh, the smaller fish that you see are a couple different types of tetras. One, we have ember tetras, and the other ones are called gold tetras. By the way, if you're looking for tetras uh, small like this, flipaquatics.com is a great place online if you need smaller fish like this. They are a channel sponsor, uh, but they are wonderful fish. Now, the tank itself, I mentioned before about the light. Obviously, you can see here the light is doing a good job illuminating the fish. It's a nice, even color, so that's kind of nice to look at whether or not it will grow plants. We're going to see. Now, these Anubias are low-light plants, and that's why Joanna put them there but we're gonna to have to see if they grow. I think they will, but anything with moderate light, I don't think those lights will be sufficient. You can see here the hang on back filter, it's short. And that was one of the things I mentioned before. So that will definitely be, at least in terms of the kit, it's kind of a downside in, in, in the sense that this intake is so short compared to the rest of the tank, but I think it's well hidden. Now you did something unique with the background. Can we talk about that for a second? This is the first time that I've used a light blue background which was kind of, it was kind of fun. I also don't usually use sand that's uh, tan colored. And the light blue background is actually not paper, it's foam. It is foam. So I am considering switching to more of a foam because it is better with, you know, when you're changing water and 
and all that. So I think final thoughts right now, and we're going to give you an update on this tank later. It's going to be a great tank, I think. I love the different footprint compared to what we're normally at. But again, a column tank does present some challenges that we've talked about uh, so far today in terms of aquascaping and even the flow of the water. Mm -hmm. And I really like how we we got this to put it in the kitchen and it is a three-sided viewing, which sometimes you have, sometimes you don't, but you can clearly see from the other side, which I really like. Now, one of the other things to keep in mind is a lot of times we are asked, hey, how did you put fish in so quickly? Uh, we use Fritzzyme 7. We use that pretty much in all of our new setups. That is a nitrifying bacteria. Fritz is a channel sponsor, but we absolutely love the stuff. We put that in. We don't get any ammonia spikes or any nitrite spikes as long as the tank is stocked relatively lightly. And that's pretty much what we have here. The other thing that you can do if you want to add fish quickly is add used filter media from another tank. That will work, but that's how we get around not having to cycle a tank for weeks and weeks on end as we use the Fritzheim 7 and it hasn't failed us yet and so it's done a really good job. So that is the tank mm -hmm. and like I said we'll give you an update later. Yeah very exciting to see uh, my new little Betta in there with multiple different kinds of friends. Now if you want more information on Bettas check out that video in the upper right hand corner. If you want to see more of Joanna's Aquascapes check out the video the playlist in the lower right hand corner and we'll see you soon. Bye.